Nebraska voters that decide to vote by mail will soon be getting their primary election ballots in the mail. This means candidates running for office are doing everything they can to reach out to voters without physically campaigning. Over the next two days, we'll hear from candidates running for federal and state office that had to change strategies because of the coronavirus outbreak. Today, reporter John Kipper talks to the three women running for the Democratic nomination for Congress who all have different approaches to winning the primary. Over the last few weeks, Gladys Harrison has had to balance trying to keep her restaurant, Big Mama's Kitchen, open, while also running for Congress. Lately, to be honest with you, I haven't spent as much time as I would like to um, on my campaign because I've been struggling with um, what to do with my restaurant and, you know, ensuring that my employees get paid. That being said, she's still campaigning. That includes phone calls to District 2 Democrats and using Facebook Live. So that they can get to know who I am and what I'm all about and kind of level the playing field, you know, for everyone uh, somewhat. You know, you still reach more people if you're buying advertising. Buying advertising is one approach Car Eastman is taking. The 2018 District 2 Democratic nominee is pushing out this ad for those that'll soon be voting by mail. Early voting is starting. People are filling out their vote by mail applications early and we wanted to make sure to get the message of the campaign out as early as possible. That has not been Eastman's only approach. She's been on social media. We definitely have stepped up our social media game. Brought people yard signs and spoke with medical experts trying to be a resource to those with questions. Showing people where they can go to buy gift cards for local restaurants and cafes, making sure people have the right information about where to go for coronavirus resources. Ann Ashford, wife of former Congressman Brad Ashford, says she was the first candidate in her own race to stop door knocking. That was in early March. So we knew we were not going to be able to have these gatherings that we had planned on having, and we were going to have to try and figure out a different way. Now she's doing more mailers, calling people, but also twice a week doing virtual town halls on a variety of subjects. It's not as good, but it's as close as you can get to having that large gathering because the major purpose of any candidate, I think, is to make yourself accessible to the voters. Now still the question remains, will not being able to get out in Omaha and campaign help or hurt any one candidate? If it's going to hurt anybody, it might be Gladys. Harrison hopes to change that. Over the final six weeks, she plans to close a restaurant and go all out on her campaign. I'm thinking I'm going to set up a camera and <laughs> be on Facebook Live 24 hours a day. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.